That's a huge fish. <laughs> what is good what is good all my real ones welcome back to another it gets real adventure it's your boy be the flossy fisherman and today man we are in snelling california at lake mcswain out here with my boy pack from outcaster he's down there throwing the frenzy spoon yes sir and we are out here trying to hook up on some rainbow trout it is mid-august and uh, they're still stocking trout up here, which is pretty cool, man. But um, the water temperatures are cool up here because we're high in elevation, man, near the Sierras. And uh, it's pretty cool that you can still catch rainbow trout in the summer like this, man. But yeah, man, I'm, I got two poles out um, using some cheese power bait on this one and some garlic power bait on that one. Uh, real light on this one. This is my Ugly Stick Elite, seven foot, two pound test on there. Got a Carolina rig set up with a size 14 treble hook. Over here, we have my Daiwa Laguna 6.6 six, um, with the Daiwa Fuego reel right there, 3,000. It's a six pound test on here. Carolina rig set up as well yeah man trying to get into it but also last month they stocked 8,000 pounds of brook trout which is one trout species that is on my list and i've been trying to catch for quite some time so i'm hoping that i can achieve that today that'll be hella cool and uh yeah man so y'all keep it locked and see if your boy can't hook up on something woke up in the morning around six o'clock hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot gotta make it quick no time no wait but i gotta stock up on worms hooks and weights pull up to the lake trying to find a spot this brain said they bite and buy the duck if you ever been fishing then you know the deal sit back relax because man it gets real all right out here at lake mcswain about to try to target some rainbows and some brook trout. The brook trout is a species of trout that I have yet to catch. I've been wanting to catch one for some time. So right now I'm just setting up my rig, going super light. This is two pound test, three eighths ounce um, egg sinker. Busting out the Carolina rig. I'm using about two and a half feet leader line you know, that's probably one of the favorite fish that i like to go after is trout so it's pretty cool that some places are still stocking them but this is a spot in particular is kind of high in elevation uh we're about 60 miles away from yosemite so this is kind of in the Sierras. You know, the water temperature stays cool up this way. So that's why they are able to still stock trout. I am going to first kick it off with some garlic. Power bait. And last month they planted 8,000 pounds of brook trout which is a species of trout that I have yet to catch. Um, so I'm excited with the potential of catching my first one, but um, just two days ago, they stocked 1,800 pounds of uh, regular trout. So got my power bait balled up just like that. Gonna make sure it floats, which it does. And use a snap swivel and a bobber. It's my bite detector. 
Um, if you guys haven't seen any of my trout videos, the purpose of this is uh, if it starts to drop all the way down, that means the fish is coming in. If it goes up, that means you have a fish on, but you'll be seeing it bounce. The only reason why it's dropping right now is because that weight is sinking. So once my weight has hit the bottom, um, you'll stop seeing that movement. Man, I just got hit. Yeah, he took that. I don't think he on though. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, we on. We on, first fish of the day. Hey, yo, Pack. Please be a brook. Two pound test, man. Gotta take it easy. Feed on the cheese power bait. Uh, that's a bow. Nice little rainbow. Flies out here killing me. Yeah, he's decent. <laughs> Ain't good at this time. That's a nice one, bro. Pretty cool. It. Yeah, he did. Nice. Did Flyers? Yeah. First uh, fish from here? Yep. This guy hooked up. One on deck. Oh, we got the bobber dropping. This one was dropping, which means uh, that fish is coming in. Oh, yep, yep, you see it. Oh, he took off. He took off. That's a fish on. That is a fish on, and please be a brook. Please. Yeah, the bite is picking up. This one was on the garlic power bait another bow wetting my hands before I handle them even though I'm not releasing them simply just to protect their slime coat as if I were to release it um, slime coat helps them from diseases and bacteria man so when you're handling fish it's best to do that so these fish have a better chance of surviving if you do release them pack on one with the frenzy spoon What color spoon is that? Oh, shoot. There you go. Two and two. Let's go. Right, right. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Get these limits. I've been here to Lake McSwain like three times. Uh, I think all three of those times I was here at the wrong time, you know, laid off in the evening fresh after a stock but still couldn't catch anything um but man i broke the skunk finally man i'm on the board your boy's juice didn't catch no brooks but uh not yet the day is still very young um but let's keep them fingers crossed man for a brook trout oh i see some jumping oh Ooh, ooh, this guy's kind of, kind of chunky. Ooh, 
Did I lose him? Nope. He's still there. Come on, please be a brook. Need a brook in my life. Looks like a bow though. Ooh. I got a trying to fight. Pretty decent ones, man. Pretty decent. <laughs> On the cheese, man. <laughs> hey, these ain't bad, bro. Hey, some pretty chunky ones. Pretty decent. I mean, for sure, no DFG. I saw them jumping out right now, so I'm trying to go out further. Yeah, they they are out a bit further. Those two, I got up fairly. I mean, like 75 feet out. 75? Yeah. Just, I mean, literally just... Oh, bro. Yeah, we're we'll actually going hold on to it, bro. All right. Flyer, yep. What color you got? Uh, I'm using garlic and cheese. It's working pretty well. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, all right. <laughs> they all rainbows? Yeah. Trying to go after the brooks, though. That seems little. Let this guy fight. Two pound test. Nice little bow. Um, I either fry him or bake him. One more to go. Man. That's good. Good for you. Thank you. Pretty decent boys. They just stocked two days ago. Another cheese garlic? Yep. Yeah, the cheese is lighting them up. All right, so the cheese has been the winner. And I haven't even been rolling them out. Just been balling them up. One more to go. No brooks, but psh, almost a limit of some decent trout. Still on. Yep. Fish number five. That good limit, boy. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah. They all been pretty decent. Come on, buddy. Boom. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Getting it done, bro. <laughs> Good limit, boy. I'm going to have to start racking now. For uh, 4 12 o'clock. It's 11 30, man. <laughs> Got out here at what? 8? 8. Not bad. All right, y'all. Well, it took your boy three visits to break the skunk. Not only did I break the skunk, I got a limit, man. Yeah, no brooks this time, but uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm just glad I ain't make a fourth trip up here and come back empty handed. But that was dope. 
Boy, Pat got on some, you know. Yeah, man. But um, we about to go up here to Lake McClure. Now, these are two lakes that are next to each other. Um, and once you pay for the entrance to Lake McSwain, you can go up to Lake McClure. So we're gonna go up there and try to target some bass or some crappie or something, man. All right, I got my frenzy spoons right here, ready to go. Got my crappie tackle box. Got a bunch of crappie jigs in here. Be ready to roll. That straight down over there. See that path? Unless there's another one on over here on this side. Oh man! Somebody thought about us. They got the rope. Oh shoot! I might have to uh, Indiana Jones this one, man. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna use the rope. Oh. You <laughs> See how real be getting out here, man. <laughs> About to get rope burn and stuff. <laughs> Taking these pathways. Woo! It's getting real. Hey. <laughs> so. Well, you now we got the easy way up. Hey, this rope ain't long enough, dog. Still treacherous terrain, man. This is only half the battle. Oh. Sheesh. Wow, packed light. I thought it was going to get easier. I don't know what we got ourselves into. I thought the battle was over when I went down all that... That other stuff with these rocks, man. Some good flat rocks, some good skipping rocks. And there's probably some good crappie down there, too. Uh, that look like a stegosaurus back or something, man. I'm about to find out on some fossils. You, know, like you find fossils over here, man. Boy, then turn into a paleontologist all of a sudden. Fisherman turned paleontologist. All right, we made it down. Lake McClure, which I think they should call it Lake McClear because this water is, shoot, stunning. All right, got me a little crappie tube on here. One thirty-second ounce jig. Mm, this water is deep, pretty big drop off right here. Can't really get as far out as I want to. So I'm giving my last attempt, my very last attempt at uh, trying to catch me a brook trout or a brown trout, man, whatever kind of trout I could get my hands on right now at this point. That's not a rainbow trout, I'm with it. <clears throat> so throw a cast master out here a few times. All right, I've seen them out here splashing and stuff. Rocking the silver cast master right now, but uh, might have to switch it up to the goat. Maybe they want to go for the goat. Feel like I just had a bite, man. I don't know if I got a fish on or not. Oh, I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. Is this my brook? Is this what I've been waiting all day for? Is this my brook, yo? <laughs> it's a rainbow. No. Gonna go ahead and release this guy. He wasn't gonna make it and I wasn't gonna keep him. So I gave him to them gentlemen over there. Oh, that was a bite. Come on, come on. Ice 
some more. Hooked up, but this thing is took me over here into this tree. I cannot get to him. And it's a brown. I mean a uh, brook. My first brook and he's stuck. Come on. It's a freaking brook too, man. Yeah. I know. He don't want to come out. Still there, bro? Yep. Dude, I was thinking the same thing. I might even get in the water for this one. Going in. Man, Pack is a real MVP right here. The real MVP. There you Man, if you could reach out far enough just to snap that. Now, nah, don't pull this line, the line that he's hooked on. Because I got that two pound tiz ass. That's gone. You want me to just cut this line? You can cut it, dude. It don't matter. Coming up. Pack the MVP. Come on, first brook, bro. <laughs> Good look. Right? Oh. There you go. Now, this is what it's all about, y'all. Yep. This is what came out here for. Fished all day for. Look at the pattern on this thing yes, nice. then them red dots as they get bigger oh beauty yep. all right y'all after a long day and after many times attempting to go after brook trout i finally got it done thanks to my boy pack he netted that one and um i had another one but the gopro battery died so I didn't get to catch that on camera, but overall, man, I am juiced that I finally got that done. Y'all don't know how long I've been trying to catch me a brook trout, but man, it, it was just dope. Three different spots, you know, but we made it happen. Whole day of fishing, but that's the mission, you know. But uh, finally broke my skunk over here at Mick Swain. Finally caught a brook trout, dude. I'm exhausted, been out here all day. It's probably like a 12, 13 hour day or something like that. But um, hey man, that's what it is when you are uh, out here getting it, going hard, man. Yep, y'all know what to do though. Go on and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't ever miss another episode of It Gets Real. Follow me on It Gets Real Fishing on Facebook and Instagram. Last but not least, hop online to itgetsreal.com and purchase some of this fly merch you see. Got the windbreaker, got the bucket hats, got face masks, stickers. We got what you need on itgetsreal.com. Yes, sir. I'm gonna leave my boy Pax link to his channel and his IG in the description. Y'all go give that man a follow and subscribe to Outcasters with a K. You know what I mean? So you can see more fishing adventures man with me and pack you know we gonna wrap this thing up you see the sun's going down looking quite crazy because of all this smoke from the fires out here man this thing still ain't stopped and it's, it's hazy hazy if you look all around but yeah man about to do it moving but till the next one y'all be cool y'all be blessed peace yeah man after a long time coming your boy jerry stringer is back in action boom